In this video, we will show you how to easily transfer your license from one computer to another. So let's say you have the Predator installed on your main computer at home and maybe you buy an upgraded computer or are traveling and want it on your laptop or even upgraded your trading to a VPS, which yes, these are considered different machines. If any of these apply, then we'll be able to do these steps. The Predator can only run on one machine at a time. If you plan to run it on multiple at the exact same time, then we will need a secondary license. If this is the case, please email support at tradesaber.com for a special secondary add-on license price. But with that, we're moving on. For this example, I will be transferring my Predator license from my main computer to my Dipgate VPS. As you can see, we've already installed the Predator and to do that, you would do the exact same steps. You'd go to tools, import Ninja Script add-on and select the entire Predator folder. Once you do that, make sure you restart NinjaTrader to make sure everything is refreshed. This is a very important step. Please watch this video where we go over how to upgrade your Predator. But once we have the Predator installed on our new machine, you would load it the exact same way, right click on the chart, strategies, select the Predator, hit apply, okay, head down to your control panel in the strategies tab and select the enable button. Here you will get the same box to type in your license key. Now, where do we find this license key? The best place to find your license key is by going to tradesaber.com and let's log in to the website. This is going to be the same account you use to purchase the Predator or if you sent us an email to upgrade your account, use that account. But if you're a lifetime member, you should have access to this account. If you purchased before May 11th and you do not have access to log in, it's giving you some sort of an error. Make sure you create a new account first and send an email to support at tradesaber.com. We will upgrade your account and get you that license key. We migrated to a new provider. Some older members won't have access to the new site. You have to send us an email and we will get you upgraded. Most of you have already done this step. This won't apply to a lot of you, but if you cannot access the Predator, please send us an email after creating a new account. This is again, only if you cannot log in. But moving on, let's sign in. Now from this page, you go to the top right hand corner go to my account and you want to head down to the license plus download page. In this page, you'll always find the latest version of the Predator and the one that we need to use, this is for the lifetime members, is the LT version. The non LT version will slowly be phased out for lifetime members. This is the trial version. This has the old licensing method. All lifetime members will have to upgrade to the LT version. This will let you manage everything yourself and it's a much better and robust system. So if you need to find the latest version, just click on this button and you'll get the latest version. But let's scroll down to our license manager. Here you will find your purchase key or license key. This is the main thing that we will need to license the Predator. Your expiry time, it's unlimited, it's a lifetime license. You only purchase once and you get access to all future upgrades as well. And your active sites, this is how many licenses you have purchased and how many machines it is activated on. If you see one out of one, that means you have one license that is currently activated on a machine. And we'll come back to the deactivate button in just a minute. I just want to copy this license key and we're going to head over to our VPS. And if you see that it is currently activated on our main computer, if we try to reuse the same key, you'll get this error message. Your key has been installed on another application. It's not going to let you use it because it's already in use. So how do we transfer this license to another computer? Let's first head down to our main computer. You want to make sure this is disabled and we have two options to deactivate our current license key so that we can reuse it on another. The first option, you can go 
into the Predator's properties and scroll all the way down to the Trade Saber section, select the Deactivate Your License and once you click this button, it will deactivate the license from this machine. Now, the other way we can do this is if we go to the website and click the Deactivate button. Now, if we click the Deactivate button, it only removes the license from the current machine. It is not going to deactivate your entire account. You will be able to reuse this same license key again on another machine. So again, it's not going to delete your license. It's just to remove it from a current machine. So let's click on that. Once that is refreshed, you will now see it is zero out of one. That means you have one license purchased and it is not activated on any machines. Now, what I like to do is go back to your main computer that it was just licensed on and just double check that it has been deactivated. So if we hit enable, it will say your license key has been deactivated from the website. If you want to activate again, please restart NinjaTrader. Let's re-enable this. And now you will get the same box to type in your license key. So once we have that, we verified that the license key is no longer attached to this machine. So let's go back to our VPS and we are going to type in this same license key we just had attached to the other computer into this box. And now we get a message that it's been successfully activated. We have to restart NinjaTrader to make sure everything is refreshed. And once it's restarted, guys, make sure we clear all of these strategies left over in the control panel. We should always load a new Predator at the start of each new session. But once we have all of that done, we can just hit enable and we'll see that the Predator is now enabled on our Dipgate VPS. And if we go back to our website and refresh the license and downloads page, you will see now that it is one out of one. That means it is activated on one machine. So that's all we have to do to transfer our Predator license from one machine to another. I hope you guys found this video useful. As always, take care. Enjoy.